I, I, if I could do this the rest of my life, I'd be a happy camper, my friend. AJ. Oh man, I'm gonna put that on my YouTube. I do this for a living. Anthony, a school time. teacher turned Eight happy players. camper. Right. <laughs> poker, man, makes people happy. Uh, poker can be a frustrating game. But. Yeah, but frustration is what. What is that old thing about? I love to um, play. I love five. to play. What is that old thing about? Um, like the happiest, the happiest person in the world. One what? One twenty. But it's something about keeping busy. You're always gonna want something else. You know? I mean, you're always gonna want to keep working towards some other goal. That's why poker's a good one. It's like golf. It's hard to. There's really never you mastered. Guys so who's a better poker player than you guys? Hey, where's my boy at? The, uh, Let me see the, the European room, guy. Yeah, He's like super fly. Yeah, no, he was like the fly. He was like <laughs> busting everybody. Nuts with the nut flush <laughs> reader. The European guy. Movie. Georgie. It's uh, <laughs> thread level midnight. <laughs> Your name's not on there, it's just a number. Four, two, two, six. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't know if I have any of that shit. Take one. He just takes the money. He doesn't have to take the money. I'm not going to turn it down. <laughs> These hands are unreal. Tia went out to a Christmas party tonight. And so I'm eating leftovers. Leftover taco meat that she put a bunch of zucchini and stuff in. And still on top of that, she told me that I need to eat some kale along with my taco meat. But I don't want to mix the kale in with it, so I'm just going to eat the kale first. And then eat the zucchini taco meat. Go thanks! I gotta listen to her, I know she's right.
Guys, you want to hang? You know what? Actually, first, I got some more work to do, but first, let's check out the garage. Okay, here's the thing. Yesterday, my son Braden, your big brother, was here and I was telling him <coughs> I've been wanting to get the garage organized for um, because it's getting cold and I can put like a heater in here and work at my desk in here. But um, Tia doesn't let me do the organizing. So she wanted to do it, so she's organizing the garage and then it'll be another cool little workspace for me for the time being. Um, but Braden was here yesterday and I was telling him that Tia was cleaning the garage and he goes, did you make her redo it over and over and over again? Cause that's what I used to make him do. I used to make your big brother do it over and over and over and over again. And that's what I'm gonna make you do too. Oh, you know what? Let's get your walker. I heard these walkers are banned in Canada, but first of all, we ain't Canadians, we're Americans, and I really don't think a pink walker can hurt you, right? You need something to play with, huh? Hmm. Sure we can find something in this garage. You want a chainsaw? Or um, a pair of pliers or something? Just kidding. Sorry, Igor, CK1. I can't make my vlogs like everybody else. If you continue to watch my vlogs, you will see that's kind of a recurring theme. Thing. I play a game. I play Pot Limit Omaha for a living. So I embrace that creative side of me and I do crazy ash. The equities run so close together, you're just gonna win some and gonna, you're gonna lose some. So to be really good at Pot Limit Omaha, you have to get creative. Reminds me of that Jake Gyllenhaal movie where the spider comes out right at the end. I love Jake Gyllenhaal, but my favorite movie by him is Nightcrawler. Here's the thing. So I realized that everybody's gonna be at different levels and you may not be speaking my language yet. So here's just a little bit of technical advice for, well, for most players, I know that they don't understand this. This is just something to think about, okay? Small parts. Thank you. S stay. So, with small, suited, connected cards, you're going to make small flushes, small two pairs, and small straights. So you don't want to be going against multiple opponents. You want to be going against one opponent. You sometimes have to get creative and suit your environment to your hand. Small cards are not good against multiple opponents. How do you solve the problem? So you gotta find a different way to put yourself ahead of the pack. You have to be creative. I, I know sometimes it's hard to follow and if you're really right-brained, you're probably thinking, give me a pattern where I can learn to get better. I'm, if you're really right-brained, right I wanna know two plus two equals four. I wanna know if, if you're really, maybe I am the, I, I'm not maybe, I am the person you should be watching because you need to loosen up your game. You need to be a little more creative. You need to be a little more crazy. Watch me, see what I'm doing. You can't be one way as a player. Also, if, you're, if you as a player are just a little bit too fucking crazy, watch what I do. I can be way too fucking crazy at times. I gotta slow myself down. So I gotta practice discipline, do health, physical fitness, mental fitness. So when I do this hot yoga, um, it's incredibly mentally taxing. If you've never been before, this is what happens. They turn the fucking heat up. You are with a bunch of hot chicks. You're hoping that you don't fart. And they start telling you like these moves, these movements to make, right? And she'll give you like three or four movements and you're all doing them at this nice pace. And you're like, oh, this is cool. And she throws another movement in. Then she throws another movement in. And you're trying to remember the movements. 
and she keeps going faster and faster and faster. The next thing you know, they've literally given you like 24 movements in some sort of sequence. They stop going, they, they speed up so fast and then they stop talking and they turn the music up and you're supposed to remember all of these steps and not look like a jackass. And remember, oh God, downward dog. Um, what you see, it's hard for me to even say the names of the positions, but while you're doing it, you have to think about all of this. Meanwhile, the temperature's hotter, hotter, hotter. Your heart rate's going higher, higher, higher. It's, it's, it's badass. Do it, you should try it, it's, it's cool. Anyways, that kind of stuff really helps you in poker. Like, if you make the mistake that I know you fucking will, you'll take your, you will take your small suited connectors against multiple opponents, and I'll be one of them on the fucking button, and you're gonna flop two pair with a gutter ball and a flush draw, and you're not gonna know what the fuck to do on multiple streets against somebody like me. Daddy's just rambling a bit now, ain't I? Aren't I? Hello. Good morning to you, kind sir. Click subscribe, please. Yeah.